but and enter in the mosque, you don't have to go from there. But Mecca, Memphis, or whatever it is, I can't come there and pray. So it's deceiving, it's deception. So it appears to be something that is not. And we're about trying to present that right image. As I started out, the nation of Islam gave a wrong image of Islam. We address that. We're trying to address that. I'm just bringing it to your conscience that there are certain things that maybe need to be looked at. And I'm going to say this in quote. During the time the Caucasian people, the Christians from Europe, during the time of the Crusades, and the great battles that were fought, and they lost many lives, that there was great resentment and animosity between the Muslims, so they called them infidels. So to some extent, maybe I can understand them making some mock. Maybe. Okay? The hostility. But when we as African American people, descendants from Africa, and know that Islam has had a great impact on Africa, and perhaps many of us were descendants of Africa, and we can get into who exploited Africa and all that, but the fact remains that many of us are descendants from Africa. And I don't happen not to believe that, but there are some people who say that, so I'll leave it to that. But and to be a descendants of Africa, that we should hold pressure these things about the religion. I can understand the Caucasian doing that, maybe. But from the time of the Crusades and all that kind of stuff. But for example, if the ritual, and if the shrine uh, ritual had, for example, who but the blacks swung the highest in the trees? Now, you get the same ritual that he has. If that is there, I would hope that you would try to modify that and say, well, hey, we have changed that. You know, that's talking about us. So the only thing I'm saying is, let us just look at it and let's not necessarily copy what they have to look at and where is modification to be made. That's what I'm saying. As, as Muslims, we hold these, these things very sacred and we just ask that maybe you just look at that and consider it. And one other point, in order to cross the sand, the real sand, and to go worship at the real shrine of Islam, you have to be a Muslim and you have to declare the faith. That's the real thing. Now, when you go to your ritual, which is not the real thing, it's, it, you know, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's, it's, a, it's a mockery, but it's, it's an acting of the real thing, I would question that. Because, from my understanding, one of the reasons you want the secret word and all of these things is so you can travel in distant lands. But if you can't truly travel to that distant land in the shrine, let's say, it's this Islamic land, you have to question that. Because you, I mean, you don't have the real thing. You can't really go there. Whereas a Muslim can really, if, 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 unless you make a mark, unless you're playing. I'm crossing the sand to worship at the shrine. What shrine? The shrine of Islam. I pulled the cord, I wrote the home. You know, all, all, all that kind of kind of thing. Now, I know that many of you respect those things, so, but just think about it. Can you really do it? And all we ask is just to look at it. I'm not going to go on. I respect you, gentlemen. I thank you, gentlemen, for your time, your attention. And we love each other as brothers and sisters. We have the same fight. We have the same struggle. And we have to prepare ourselves and pass the knowledge on to the young. I'm a young man, 29 years old. We have to pass it on to the young brothers and sisters that need it. And they may not necessarily want to come into the law. They may want to share with another brother without worrying about the oath of secrecy. Now, the oath may be symbolic, but it's still a hindrance. And if it is free, Mason, if it is free to erect a spiritual structure, to lay those perfect stone, to bring it from a rough ash to a perfect ash, if it's free to do that, then let it be free. Don't put the restraints. Let us, as a people, strive forward and advance. And thank you very much for the offer. And I really appreciate it. Why you're standing there, you can get a little stretch so you want. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you must have been born in Arkansas. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to okay. use too much time because most of it's been taken up, but I want to start by saying this. Please forgive me. You're forgiven. The uh, book, Al Islam, Christianity and Freemasonry by Mustafa El Amin, is worth reading. Right. And it is the most copies here available. We have some. We have if you yeah. didn't, you purchased one last night. I strongly urge you to come, uh, purchase one today because uh, it's something that should be on the a must on the reading list of every major I turn to believe that. I don't agree with everything it says, but I yeah. certainly I recommend it very highly. This right here is my 29-page book review. It's uh, 
and